Welcome to our video. This is the second in a series of short videos that describes the benefits afforded by the fractal advantage. Here, we'll show you the first practical 3D invisibility cloak. This simple example produces a whole new field of solutions at microwaves and also enables the technology of invisibility cloaks as tools at infrared and visible light. First, let's remember that an invisibility cloak is a special type of camouflage with a really cool property. It hides things by passing waves around an object so that you see the other side as if the object isn't there. Some folks talk about cloaks as blackened curtains, not us. We mean the real thing here. You don't see black, you see the other side. Why would you want this for radio waves, such as microwaves? Well, here's an example. An antenna farm called Bear Hill in Waltham, Mass. It's taken from the front porch of fractal antenna systems. See all the towers and antennas? They have to be placed carefully so they don't shadow each other and block signals. Adding other antennas are a problem, as the existing ones would get in the way. If you had a way to cloak these antennas, and towers, and other structures, you could make the radio microwaves pass through so nothing gets blocked. Something similar happens on ships and planes, too. Defense platforms have so many antennas and structures that they have a co-site problem. It's really a big deal in the military, so a cloak or two would really help spread the radio wealth. Of course, the best reason to use microwaves is that they're easy and cheap to prove out. Keep that in mind. Everything you see can be scaled to infrared or visible light. So instead of the somewhat clunky microwave cylinder, the 3D cloak we're showing you, the cloak could be a thin layer on a satellite of visible light. The stars would shine through. The technology to make such visible light cloaks was decades away only a few years ago. Now it's years away and will be part of it. Nothing proves out something better than showing it, so let's see the makings. Here's the experiment. We place two directional microwave antennas so they look at each other with a vector network analyzer. Then we take the intensity seen by them and define it as being zero dB over a range of 500 to 1500 megahertz. The screen you're seeing is, of course, from 500 to 1500 megs, and the vertical scale is in 3 dB steps. Notice that when someone steps in between the two antennas, the shadowing causes the intensity to go down. Hence the saying, you make a better door than a window. Now we place a metal pipe between the two antennas, a typical antenna farm structure. This partially blocks the antennas from each other by about 5 dB. Then we put a wider copper collar around the middle and you see it shadows it a bit more. The point is, is that we're blocking some of the radio wave intensity with an obstruction. So here's the cool part. We built a 3D invisibility cloak for microwaves, a simpler version than the world's first, which is seen as a separate video. This cloak uses various teeny fractal metamaterial resonators nearly touching each other and layered. They're built into a cylinder-like structure and the obstruction, in this case a pipe, goes down the middle. It costs about $300 and it's made of thin circuit board. It's identical to the copper collar in size. So let's see what happens when we put it on top of the pipe. Well, notice that from 700 megs to 1300 megs, a wide bandwidth, the intensity is returned as if the pipe isn't there at all. The radio waves have slipstreamed around the pipe and emerged on the other side. It's not magic. It's physics exploited with the technology of fractals. It's real, it's cool, and it's the beginning of something big. 
Here it is again. Words fail. We hope you enjoyed this video and invite you to join us on the web at www.fractenna.com.